Hello everyone, this is Pradeep from Tech and Training Corporate Solutions with a new video on five must know features during presentation. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what are the five interesting features that can be used while you are giving the presentation. The first feature amongst these features is zooming your Windows screen. That means how do you zoom in and zoom out Windows screen? In order to learn more about this feature, Let's move to my Windows screen. We are now looking at my Windows screen and if I want to zoom anywhere on the screen, I'll just press Windows and plus key. When I press Windows and plus key, you will see that my screen has zoomed and now I can move the screen by just moving the arrow. Wherever I move the arrow, the screen zooms and I can see that portion of the screen in a zoomed manner. Now, in order to zoom out, the key is very simple, Windows minus. So remember Windows Plus and Windows Minus. The second feature is pointer location. Here, anywhere in the screen, if you want to attention of the participant, what you can do is you can simply press Control key. And when you press Control key, you will see wherever the arrow is, you will see a highlighter like this. This helps to bring the attention of all the participant. In order to know more about this pointer location feature, let's again jump back into Windows screen. In order to activate this feature, you just need to press Control key and you will see that the pointer location automatically shows where the arrow is located. You first need to do some settings so that this feature works for you. In order to do those settings, you just need to press Windows and R key and, and just type Control space mouse. When you press Control space mouse, just hit enter, you will see a mouse pointer screen comes up. You just need to go to the third tab which says pointer options. When you click on pointer options, just check this box that says show location of pointer when I press Control key. After checking this box, just click OK and whenever you want to bring the focus onto any part of the screen, just move the arrow over there and press Control key. This will help you again to give the presentation or any kind of demonstration on your Windows screen. The third feature is Presenter View. In Presenter View, you can actually change your screen and the screen which is visible to the participant. So you will have extra controls over your PPT which your participants will not be able to see and you can then give a wonderful presentation. In order to know more about Presenter View, you can go to my YouTube channel that is youtube.com slash C slash Pradeep Pardeshi or you can directly copy and paste this link from the bottom section in the comment section and watch this video in detail. This present view actually helps you to take extra control over the presentation. In order to use present view, you just have to go to PowerPoint presentation and in the slideshow tab, just check this box. But before you check this box, you just need to press Control P and select this extended option. Once you select this extend option, you can then go to slideshow and check the present view. Once that is done, you can then press F5 to launch the presentation and you can use present view. In order to use this feature, your laptop or computer should be connected to a secondary display could be a projector or the monitor. Like I said, in order to know more about this feature, you can go to the URL which is mentioned on the screen. Let's learn about the fourth feature. The fourth feature is presenter shortcut. Now there are certain shortcuts which you may not be able to remember during the presentation. So just in case if I want to make the screen completely black, I can press V. In order to come out of this mode, I can simply press spacebar. Now, if I want to make the entire screen white, I'll press W and that makes the entire screen white. And then again, I can hit W or the space bar to bring it back to normal. If I want to zoom the PowerPoint screen, then there's a shortcut for that as well. Now remember people, I'm not talking about the Windows zoom option. I'm talking about the zoom option in PowerPoint. So I can press Control and plus key and see this helps me to zoom the PowerPoint presentation. Similarly, I can press Control minus. I can further press Control minus to get back to slide sorter view. So this is how I can zoom the slide back and forth. Now all these shortcuts may not be remembered by an individual. 
So what you can do is while giving the presentation, you can quickly press F1. Now remember, if you're in present view mode, then this shortcut screen will not be visible to the audience. But in order to make this possible, you should definitely use present view. Otherwise, the screen will also be visible to the audience. When you come up with the screen after pressing F1 during the presentation mode, you get to see certain additional shortcuts. So here you can see that Control Plus helps you to zoom the slide. You also have certain other shortcuts like rears control, media control, and ink or laser pointer control. You can study these options well in advance and just in case if you happen to forget them, you can anytime press F1 to come to the screen. The fifth feature that we have is add live content to PPT. What I mean to say is when you're giving the presentation in the slideshow mode, adding the content to the slide. Imagine you're conducting the training program and you have asked for certain inputs from the participant. When they give inputs, what do we do as trainer? We type the content on the flip chart or maybe on the slideshow. But how about giving a completely different experience to your participant? That is, you directly enter that content on the slide. You would think that it's very simple. You can just get out of the slideshow mode and type the content. Yes, if that is the case, then it's very simple. But what about being in the slideshow mode and still being able to add the content to the slide? Isn't that a fantastic experience? So when we talk about text box in PPT, there is a feature called as text box in PowerPoint that you can add to the slide. And during the slideshow mode, you can type the content on the slideshow mode itself. Let's learn about the trick. In order to add the content, what you need to do is activate the developer tab. In order to activate the developer tab, you need to click on file, click on options. When you click on options, go to the customize ribbon. When you go to customize ribbon, here on the right hand side, we have the option that says developer. When you check that box developer and click OK, you will have developer tab added to your ribbon. From the developer tab, just go to this option that says text box and click on it and go to the new slide wherever you want to paste it and draw a text box. So I'm just drawing a text box here like this. So this is going to be the size of my text box. Now on this text box, I should be able to type the content. But if I press Shift F5 and if I start typing the content, I am able to type the content, but I'm not able to go to the next slide. To do this, select the text box, go to the properties tab. First, find the option that says enter key behavior. Click on that option that says false and turn it to true. The next option that you need to do is there is one more feature called as multi line. Click on that and make it true again. Once you're done, close this box, press shift F5, go back into the slideshow mode, type. There are various features in PPT. Animation charts ETC. This way what happens is I'm able to type the content while giving the presentation and the participant will wonder how are you able to enter the text while giving the presentation even if you press escape these texts are saved so for the next time when you want these texts to be available those are there in front of you thank you very much for watching this video i hope you will like it please leave your comments and get more information about the video in the section below take care bye bye